In America it was called a shark, in the rest of the world it was a protocoop. Such a name implies a certain set of qualities, and, I must say, the car is fully endowed with them. Are you confused by the Korean origin? In vain. The debut of the coupe model took place in 1996 at the Geneva Motor Show. The car was offered with one of three petrol four-cylinder engines 1.6L, 105 to 114 horsepower, 1.8L, 128 to 132 horsepower, and 2.0L, 139 to 141 horsepower. With a 1.6-liter unit, only a five-speed manual gearbox was installed, while with the other two there could be either a mechanics or a four-band automatic with overdrive. In 1999, the appearance of the model was somewhat updated. The front part of the body, as well as the interior, underwent the most noticeable changes. In 2001, the second generation debuted, developed directly in Korea, featuring a different body and chassis. The 1.8-liter engine disappeared from the range of engines, but a new 2.7-liter V6, 169 horsepower, was proposed, with which, in addition to the automatic transmission, a six-speed manual gearbox can be installed. The interior of the new generation car is also completely different. Not so long ago, only very wealthy people could afford to have a sports car in their personal fleet. But in the 90s, the situation changed. Quite affordable pseudo sports cars appeared on the market that looked like real sports cars, but at the same time they received all the stuffing from some common model of the same automaker. Such as, e.g. Opel Calibra, Opel Tigra, Ford Probe, as well as our today's hero, Hyundai Coupe whose sales began in 1996. I must say that the company, Hyundai, and earlier tried to get hold of something coupe-like in its model range. The predecessor of the coupe, a car named Scoop, was created on the basis of the Pony slash Excel model, but it was released in a very small edition. It's just that the coupe is also based on a donor, a shortened Lantrop 2 platform. From it, and engines. Now in the domestic market, the choice of used Kyopesh is quite large. This is also explained by the fact that due to the growth of the euro against the dollar, the distillers began to actively develop the North American market of second-hand cars, and there, under the name Tiburon, this model was sold in a decent circulation. And in general, the US market for Hyundai has been and remains a priority. Perhaps that is why the design of the first generation of this model was developed precisely by the Stock department of the company. The very word Tiburon in Spanish means shark. And such a name was chosen for a reason. After all, the Spanish-speaking population in the United States is almost a third, and the part of consumers who do not understand Spanish was explained during the advertising campaign. But the model is practically not brought from Europe, since the difference in price between American and European of the same year of manufacture and a similar configuration is very significant. In addition, running copies are now offered, which were bought at one time from official dealers. As a rule, they are two or three years old, and they are usually sold due to the fact that they no longer suit their owner or mistress. This two-door coupe features high torsional rigidity, which is beneficial for driving performance. In addition to rigidity, when designing the body, all modern safety requirements were taken into account, and therefore the car adequately protects its passengers in an accident, which is also achieved due to the pillows included in the basic package. These cars were also equipped with disc brakes on all wheels and a very well-functioning ABS. The filling of the car necessarily contains power accessories and air conditioning, with very rare exceptions, a height adjustable steering column, and there are often instances with a sunroof and electric adjustments for the driver's seat and sometimes even a leather interior. It should be noted that this model is not for tall people. If the height of the driver and front passenger exceeds 180 centimeters, then propping up the head of the ceiling is almost guaranteed. In a car equipped with a sunroof, the living space is reduced by a few more very important centimeters. The rear sofa is designed for children or very tiny adults. It is noteworthy that the coupe has a fairly roomy trunk, the volume of which increases significantly if the rear seat is folded down. In the cabin, everything is carefully thought out and made of high-quality materials so that no squeaks and other abnormal sounds annoy passengers, and the sound insulation is at a high level. It is necessary to carry to pleasant trifles the double coaster which is being put forward from the central console and the built-in case for points placed near salon rear view mirror. Engines For the first generation, produced until 2001, only four-cylinder gasoline engines of 1.6 liters, 105 to 114 horsepower, 
1.8 liters, 128 to 132 horsepower, and 2.0 liters, 139 to 141 horsepower. A more powerful unit, which gives the coupe decent dynamics, appeared only in the second generation. This is a high-tech V6 with a volume of 2.7 liters and an output of 169 horsepower, with four valves per cylinder. All engines are equipped with a modern fuel injection system. In general, the motors have proven themselves well. And, perhaps, the main thing that needs to be paid attention to is the condition of the timing belt, because there have been repeated cases of its rupture with a run of 60 to 80,000 kilometers, leading to very unpleasant consequences. It is also worth bearing in mind that for long trouble-free operation, engines need high-quality oil. Valve lifters are the first to suffer from low-grade grease, which is easy to identify by their knock. During normal operation, 250,000 kilometers for the engine is not the limit. True, on this car, in order to satisfy the driver's ambitions, the engines often have to work in a slightly different, tougher mode than on other representatives of the model range, but the maximum speed limiting system does not allow the clockwork driver to twist the engine. Transmission. This car was offered only in a front-wheel drive version. In the transmission, both a five-speed manual gearbox, installed with all engines, and a four-band automatic with overdrive, upshift force shutdown button could be used. It should be noted that automatic transmission was not offered for cars with a 1.6-liter engine. In terms of reliability, the mechanical gearbox does not cause any complaints, and on machines equipped with it, attention should be paid mainly to the condition of the clutch. The automatic, especially the KM175 model, which was installed on pre-styling copies of the first years of production, is considered a rather problematic unit, so when buy, you should carefully check its condition and determine by the VIN code which automatic gearbox model is installed on this car. Signs of an imminent breakdown of the machine are jerks when shifting gears and the characteristic scorched smell of gear oil. Suspension. The model was equipped with independent wheel suspensions, which differ from those used on the Lantra and that they were brought to mind by Porsche specialists. As a result of fine-tuning, the length of its moves was reduced and rigidity increased which in general endowed the car with an almost sporty character. However, we must remember that it is still quite far from this almost to a real sport, and the coupe can be regarded as an intermediate option, for those who have already learned how to drive well, get high from the process and want to gradually get close to the heights of driving skills. The car does not sway when driving on a gentle policy, it swallows small bumps well and almost does not roll in corners. In general, it behaves in the same way as many other cars with good handling. There were no typical weak points in the chassis, and even on our roads it is able to walk 50 to 70,000 kilometers without repair. Of course, for street racers, these figures are several times less. But even with a quiet ride closer to 100,000 kilometers, you have to shake up almost everything, and this is quite expensive, since there are more than a dozen silent blocks and suspensions. And the model also has its typical weak spot, due to the low ground clearance, even a slight blow about road bumps in the ski, on which the front engine mount leans, leads to the exhaust manifold cracking. The collector itself is not cheap and is brought, it is mainly to order, therefore, if when choosing a car you hear that the exhaust system behaves inadequately, you should not count on the fact that everything can be fixed by replacing the exhaust manifold gasket or muffler welding that is so popular with us. Due to its relationship with the Lantra, the coupe is more than affordable to maintain and operate, but if there is a need for body parts, optics and something else specific, it turns out that all this costs decently. In addition, there will probably not be much in stock, so you will have to place an order and wait for the desired item to arrive. At the same time, consumables, filters, belts, pads, as well as almost all elements of the running gear, are produced by well-known manufacturers. So there are no problems with the purchase of these spare parts. Conclusion. In general, due to some exclusivity, the model is distinguished by high build quality and components used, which undoubtedly has a positive effect on its reliability.